Welcome to Friday morning prayer for the 19th of August. My name is Reverend Kate Heath. I'm a priest here in the Anglican Parish of Lambton. The traditional custodians of this land are the wonderful people. I pay my respect to elders past, present, and emerging, and I extend my respect to all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. Friday morning prayer can be found in your prayer book on page 413. Our psalm is Psalm 111, and our reading comes from the 13th chapter of the letter to the Romans. On page 413. Through Christ, let us offer up the sacrifice of praise to God, the fruit of lips that acknowledge his name. Glory to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now, and forever. Amen. We have complete freedom to go into the most holy place by the means of the death of Jesus. He opened for us a new way, a living way, through the curtain, through his own body. Since we have a great high priest set over the household of God, let us draw near with a sincere heart and a sure faith, with hearts that have been made clean from a guilty conscience, and bodies washed with pure water. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 111, on page 343. But praise the Lord. I will praise the Lord with my whole heart, in the company of the upright and among the congregation. The works of the Lord are great, and studied by all who take delight in them. His deeds are majestic and glorious, and his righteousness stands forever. His marvellous acts have won him a name to be remembered. The Lord is gracious and merciful. He gives food to those that fear him. He remembers his covenant forever. He showed his people the power of his acts in giving them the heritage of the heathen. The works of his hands are faithful and just, and all his commandments are sure. They stand firm forever and ever. They are done in faithfulness and in truth. He sent redemption to his people. He ordained his covenant forever. Holy is his name and worthy to be feared. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and of good understanding of those that he keep his commandments. His praise shall endure forever. Holy God, through your beloved Son, you reconcile all things to yourself making peace by the blood of his cross. Fill us and those for whom we pray with your peace and joy, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our reading comes from Romans chapter 13. All right. Let every person be subject to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except from God. And those authorities that exist have been instituted by God. Therefore, whoever resists authority resists what God has appointed, and those who resist will incur judgment. For rulers are not a terror to good conduct, but to bad. Do you wish to have no fear of the authority? Then do what is good, and you will receive its approval, for it is God's servant for your good. But if you do what is wrong, you should be afraid, for the authority does not bear the sword in vain. It is the servant of God to execute wrath on the wrongdoer. Therefore, one must be subject, not only because of wrath, but also because of conscience. For the same reason, you also pay taxes, for the authorities are God's servants, busy with this very thing. Pay to all what is due them, 
taxes to whom taxes are due, revenue to whom revenue is due, due, respect to whom respect is due, honour to whom honour is due. Owe no one anything except to love one another. For the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. The commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and any other commandment are summed up in this word, love your neighbours as yourself. Love does no wrong to a neighbour, therefore love is the fulfilling of the law. Besides this, you know what time it is, how it is now the moment for you to wake from sleep. For salvation is nearer to us now than when we became believers. The night is far gone, the day is near. Let us then lay aside the works of darkness and put on the armour of light. Let us live honourably as in the day, not in revelling and drunkenness, not in debauchery and licentiousness, not in quarrelling and jealousy. Instead, put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to gratify its desires. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. Our canticle, Saviour of the World, which you can find on page 414. Jesus, Saviour of the World, come to us in your most mercy. We look to you to save and help us. By your cross and your life laid down, you set your people free. We look to you to save and help us. When they were ready to perish, you saved your disciples. We look to you to come to our help. In the greatness of your mercy, loose us from our chains. Forgive the sins of all your people. Make yourself known as our Saviour and mighty Deliverer. Save and help us that we may praise you. Come now and dwell with us, Lord Christ Jesus. Hear our prayer and be with us always. And when you come in your glory, make us to be one with you and to share the life of your kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trouble and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. I'll call back to our social prayer this week. Almighty God, you have given your only Son to be for us both a sacrifice for sin and also an example of bodily life. Give us grace that we may always thankfully receive the benefits of his sacrifice and also daily endeavour to follow the blessed steps of his most holy life. Through that same Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in unity with the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. Let us pray now for the world, for God's family, the church, for ourselves and the day that lies ahead of us. And the ones we are particularly holding in our hearts at this time. Holy God, we give you thanks for this extraordinary world in which we live. Give you thanks for all wonders of the natural world that speak to the wonder of you who made them all. We pray for humanity that we may be good stewards of the treasure entrusted to us. We pray that we may act for the voiceless, may protect those fragile ecosystems 
which sustain us all. We pray for just transitions to renewable economies. Holy God, we thank you that you call us into your family. We thank you for the wonderful diversity of those people who bear your name. We pray today for listening hearts, for open minds. We pray that by the ways we walk together even in times of disagreement. We may witness to the greatness of your love. We give you thanks and we pray for those who lead us, especially praying for Bishop Peter, Bishop Sonia and Charlie. We pray for all those agencies, schools, sector ministries and parishes where people will encounter your love. We pray that we may be worthy of bearing your name, that as we glimpse the greatness of your love, we may share that with the whole world. We give you thanks that you are the God of healing and wholeness. We pray for those in desperate need of your healing touch today. For those weighed down by loneliness and grief. Those oppressed by ill health, by addiction, by chronic mental health struggles. We pray that you will be their hope and their strength. That the dawn of today will break in their hearts. You will bring to them hope and peace. We give you thanks and we pray for all who work in the sciences this week. For science teachers inspiring the next generation and encouraging science literacy. For those who work in research and those who work in practical applications. We give you thanks for all who search the mysteries of this world that you have made. We pray that they may be appreciated and supported in their vital work. give you thanks for the whole company of your saints, those whose name has echoed through the whole world, and those who were a guiding light to us in our own journey of faith. We pray that we, with all your faithful ones, will be brought to a glorious resurrection and the fulfilment of your kingdom, for we ask it in Christ's name. Amen. So we come to our morning collect on page 415. Eternal God and Father, by whose power we are created and by whose love we are redeemed, guide and strengthen us by your Spirit, that we may give ourselves to your service and live this day to, in love to one another and to you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. Peace be to us all, and love with faith from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. I hope that this time of prayerfulness and stillness in God's presence has equipped you with the peace you need to whatever today throws at you. Goodbye and God bless.